Hello, this is Todd with Environmental Alert. I'm at 4826 Northeast 9th Avenue, performing a sewer line inspection to determine the serviceability of the sewer line going from the house to the city main. I've accessed the line today through a 3 inch ABS clean out located on the 3 inch plumbing stack. Um, currently in the horizontal line, we're now pouring flooring from the bathroom sink down in the basement. Current, um, at this point, I'm going to set my phone marker to read zero and begin the inspection. Uh, currently, we are on 4 inch ABS and we're transitioning straight away into 4 inch cast iron pipe here, uh, just one foot past uh, the bottom of the uh, uh, plumbing stack. Here at approximately 18 feet, the line transitions into what appears to be a six inch concrete. I'm going to go ahead and pause and locate this uh, positioning of the transition right now. All right, locate the transition in the driveway um, right in between the two concrete um, sections where the tires go, uh, depth three feet eight inches deep. Seeing some debris in the line, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and run some additional water and see if we can clear this out. Looks like some it's cleared out just a little bit, but not much to, seems to be affecting the sewer line. Alright, so I'm going to turn some additional water on to try and uh, help get over this uh, offset here. Unfortunately, even with the additional water turned on, my camera is not making it past this joint where there used to be an offset. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and locate this uh, position in the sewer line. Alright, so the camera stopped here at approximately 55 feet. Uh, we did, I did locate it and mark it out with white paint. It's right in the driveway approach, approximately two feet away from the curb line. Uh, this uh, section is uh, on still technically uh, the property owner's portion of the sewer line. So two feet beyond this point would be the curb line. Um, at this point, um, I do have the water shut off, and uh, this does appear to be a uh, significant um, separation in the pipe that is um, preventing my camera from advancing any further, unfortunately. And so I'm going to reinspect the water on the way back.
Uh, and here at 48 feet, looks like we're seeing another separation here. This uh, pipe is uh, appears to be offset, but in a downward uh, angle. Um, so can't really see, but I would imagine that below this pipe here, it would be separated. Um, and doesn't look like a proper fitting. Almost also looks like there's a crack in the pipe here, or a hole um, right at the bottom. So uh, here at 48 feet, I would consider this a, 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 a offset. Uh, and a, uh, a crack. Another minor um, offset here, also going in a downward angle. Seems like these sections of pipe in the concrete portion of the sewer line, it is misaligned. Uh, you know, also throughout the sewer line here, we're seeing some pretty significant uh, sections where there's just uh, uh, exposed aggregate. And uh, now that we're looking at this joint on the left-hand side here, uh, we're right at a joint. You can see the seam line there, and off to your left-hand side, you can see some minor root intrusions. Um, at approximately uh, 44 feet here on the left hand side and actually on the right hand side too. So I'm going to go ahead and locate this and mark it out with white paint. Roots were marked out in the driveway at 4 feet 8 inches deep. More separations uh, just appear to be throughout this section of the uh, sewer line. Closer look is revealing some more minor roots at approximately 35 feet. You can see those hairs on the right hand side, bottom of the pipe here, again at 35 feet. This concludes the video sewer line inspection <clears throat> here at uh, 48 and 26 Northeast 9th Avenue. Serviceability of sewer line appears to be compromised due to separations, offsets, and minor root intrusions. I would recommend uh, line replacement of the uh, concrete section of the sewer line.